Let's talk about hobbies. What are your hobbies? Maybe your hobbies are hiking, swimming, photography, or if you're like me, fishing. Ever since I was a baby, almost every memory I have, there's a fishing pole in my hand. How does my watershed? I worry about my watershed because fishing is my passion and I couldn't imagine my life without it. Being from South Dakota has allowed me to have a pole in my hand as often as I could. In my case, the Cheyenne River has been my watershed for all of my life and one of my favorite fishing holes. I think almost all of my memories are of spending time fishing. I grew up on a ranch and both my parents were very busy. They would always joke and say that every successful rancher had a wife that worked in town. And my mom always worked in town. Every summer, all summer, Dad and I would go fix some fence and reward ourselves by heading to the river to do a little catfishing. Now, we probably should have done more fencing than fishing, but who's going to tell us to fence instead of fish? Neither of us were about to tell each other that, so I suppose it never came up. Not only did I spend time fishing in the summer, I also spent time ice fishing. For my 15th birthday, my dad took me ice fishing. I'm a December baby, and I've never hated fishing so much. The first problem was, it was blizzarding, and I never even got to fish. Next, I got stuck with the ice scoop, and I couldn't run fast enough to keep the holes open. And lastly, no one caught a single fish. But the memories are far more valuable than the fishing was, and I'll never forget that. As time went on, I moved. Instead of living east of, east of Hermosa, I now lived in Buffalo Gap. Boy, the river was awfully close. I couldn't resist fishing all the time. My dad is a contractor, and I remember one summer he was building a house for Bob Baker, and it took all summer into the winter. It was an old-fashioned log cabin, and it was amazing. I would go to work with him every day and leave by lunch to go fishing. This was a daily thing all summer. My dad also has friends that own ranches east of Buffalo Gap, and all their ranches sat on the Cheyenne River. Our family outings consisted of heading to the river at dark, fishing all through the night, and then packing up and heading home at dawn. Fishing has always been in my life. For example, when I was 12, my aunt took me to Townsend, Montana for a fishing tournament. I wasn't in it, but it was crazy fun even just to be there. I spent two weeks camping at the base of the Rocky Mountains in a tent from the beginning to middle of June, which was kind of cold, but very worth it. After that summer, I started bass fishing at Angostura and private dams around the area, and that's where I found my true love. From the first time I caught a largemouth bass, I knew I was hooked. One of our family friends owns a private bass dam, and if I could live on it, I totally would. Since much of my life has focused on fishing, I'm not sure what it would look like without it. For a lot of kids in South Dakota, or more specifically our local area, fishing is very important. You could even think about the tourist aspect of it. If South Dakota didn't have the great fishing like they do, do you think they'd make as much money on tourists? If Angostura didn't have the great fishing like they do, do you think they'd have as many guests each year? If our watershed was hurt, it would be devastational for much of Fall River County. Even more specifically, if our watershed was hurt, our native fish like walleye, catfish, bass, and trout, just to name a few, could face a devastational amount of damage. That thought alone scares me. There are many causes for water pollution in our watershed. Gas emission can poison the water and can kill the fish. Fertilizer can also kill the fish and poison our watershed. Human waste and animal waste can also poison the water, creating no safe home for our native fish. Thankfully though, between all of us, we can all lend a helping hand in keeping our watershed safe. Farmers and ranchers can plan to use fertilizers that won't poison the water and keep the fish safe and healthy. Another thing we can all do is make sure all waste is properly managed and disposed of. Instead of dumping it somewhere it could make its way into our watershed, make sure it goes where it needs to so we all stay safe. Aside from the fish, poisoning our watershed can also harm us, and that's something we all need to worry about. In South Dakota, we have 19 beautiful lakes. Along with those 19 lakes, we have streams, dams, and rivers that all fill into the lakes and go throughout the state. They are all part of our watershed. So how does my watershed? My watershed's for fishing. I will always worry and try to protect my local watershed for the sake of the fish. Thank you.